Hello, I'm Mark Jenkins and welcome to my test studio in London. The idea of this studio is to include all the main methods of sound synthesis and keyboards and modules by all the main companies so it's possible to compare one against another. Today we're looking at two new Eurorack modules by the company Befaco based in the wonderful city of Barcelona. And many of their modules are also available in kit form. These two are Percol, part of a modular percussion system, and Lich, a highly programmable digital module. We'll just take these two out of the big system and put them in this small testbed modular. So now we've moved the Befaco modules into this small modular. These modules are both quite unusual. Percol is like having half a drum machine without having any of the audio sources. And Lich is highly programmable for completely different functions. So let's have a look at the basic layout of Lich. At the top, four large or medium sized knobs A to D for programmable parameters and matching scalable control voltage inputs. At the base, two audio ins, two gate ins, gate and CV out and audio outs but those won't all be doing anything depending on what the module is set up to do at the time. The first preset is a high quality digital reverb so let's just play this white noise percussion source and see what it adds. This is exactly the way Tangerine Dream used to make their hi-hat patterns in the early 70s. And as we fade in some of the reverb we can hear it's a short almost slap back as of a hard wall close to a sound source. And as with any digital reverb, you can alter the decay time, the mix and the tone of the effect. And as you can hear, that's a nice long decay on the reverb. The second setup on Lich is a high quality digital delay. So you just select patch 2 and enter. And we'll have the same percussion sounds and start mixing in some delay effects. So as with any digital delay, you're able to change the mix, the length and the amount of feedback on the delay effect. In this setup, the gate output gives a timing clock which will help you sync up other modules and effects. On to the next patch on Lich, which is a harmonic oscillator. Just enter patch 3, and as with any oscillator of this type, you have coarse and fine tuning, and wave folding, and control of the overall tone of the sound. Again you have control voltages for parameters A, B, C and D, so let's go over to the sequencer again, and start sequencing D, and you can hear these patterns played in the harmonic overtones of the oscillator. Take that voltage source out and put it into A and you'll start sequencing the oscillator in a more conventional manner as you turn the incoming CV up to one volt per octave it'll start playing a conventional melody. And again the two lighting push buttons on Lich have programmable functions. Here's one showing gates incoming at input A and we swap that to show gates incoming at input B. Lich is a highly versatile module but when it takes off best is if you're willing to learn a little programming yourself. 
It's based on the OWL system developed by Rebel Technology in the UK, and one of the languages you can use to program it is Faust. So the module's a fantastic investment. New patches appear all the time, so you'll always find it having new possibilities within your modular system. And if you can learn to do a bit of programming yourself, you can make it act as any module you can imagine. Well, that's the end of that feature. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There'll be a lot more to come.